Right, back again. Yeah, I, I know I've sort of tried to do a few video logs whilst I'm available to. You know, I sort of did for a couple and then I did a Kingdom Hearts video, then it just sort of nosedived for a couple of years and just went quiet and, and then it sort of went, I sort of done a couple, nosedived again, now I'm back in the swing of it again and it's, yeah I think I've got a cold coming, I feel a bit, alright, try to work through the headaches, yes, so I'm, um, you know, I'm just sort of, just sort of thinking really and trying to put my thoughts into video format, you know, give me something to do with my time. Just sort of been thinking about music recently and how, how I think music is a good starting point for people conversations because everybody likes music in some sense of the word so it's you know some people like I don't know N-dubs or whatever they're called this week some people like David Bowie it's sort of a bit of a difference but I can understand I mean I'm not too fond of modern music it's sort of a bit white noise if anyone knows what that means it's just you know lots of noises that don't really appeal to me that much I mean some are all right give it that but but it's not my sort of thing modern music yeah it's more of a you know classics still each into their own I believe Yeah, I'm sorry about the clicking of the pen, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, um, just sort of been going over some videos on the internet, I found some really freaky paranormal Shiola, you know, there's one, there's one, there's an EVP, I'm not sure what EVP stands for, if you do know, please comment and I can know what it means, but it's some sort of I think it means the electronic voice phenomenon or something, I don't know. That's just something I just thought up of. Could be. I don't know. Who knows? I just, yeah. And um, it was this bloke who was recording it. He couldn't mention the group for legal reasons or something. But they were... I don't know where they were. It looked quite derelict. But they took an EVP. Apparently, nobody heard it at the time that they were recording it but apparently you can hear quite clearly it's quite freaky really something say I have the body of a pig then followed by a very audible grunt freaky shit that is just if you just YouTube EVP I have the body of a pig whatever it should come up it's quite it's interesting. It's not a screamer, I can trust you. I watch them. I don't like the screamers. They're horrible. They... <sighs> it's just... You know, they're a bit... Don't like them like that. They're just... I don't know. I prefer to get the ones that are just, like, genuine. Yeah, a couple of them are quite interesting. Uh... Yeah, so it's just, just paranormal seems to be quite interesting me these days. I don't know why, I've, I've always had a bit of an interest in them, but I just, you know, something's making me want to sort of, you know, look into it a bit more because of, you know, it's an interesting idea. You know, lots of the concept that we are not alone in this universe. I've been 
Sorry about that. Just thought I heard the door, Gavin. Yeah, there's um, I'm thinking one theory I've currently got on on the whole paranormal ghost experience is maybe imagine I know this is going to sound like really like Doctor Who-ish, but I'm going to say it anyways. There's sort of like our universe, then there's, I don't know, like many parallel ones that could be equally the same as ours in the sense, but run at different times. So now we're in 2012, they could be in 1501 or 1739, whatever. And barriers between the worlds sometimes may break a tiny bit. And will then allow others to, other people, so to speak, sort of partially bleed over into ours, you know, that we can see them, that they're there, you know, and they can interact with certain, with certain. I don't know, buildings, you know, with certain doors, because, like, you know, something from their time period they can interact with. I don't know. It's sort of... The, yeah, that's what... That's what I think. I, I don't have any theories for poltergeists yet. Thinking, but... It's not there. It's not... Nothing's coming. Uh, what else? Job. Nothing yet. Keep you posted on that. Uh... Um, yeah, it's it's just sort of a freaky sort of idea, really, about the poltergeist, you know, that, the th well, not the poltergeist, the ghosts, that, you know, they could each, um, uh, you could sort of, they could sort of bleed over, so to speak, into our timeline. I know it sounds really unusual and freaky, but... My human rights dictate I am allowed to sound like a lunatic if I want to and make crazy theories about stuff. You know, just crazy theories about what I think. You know, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying you as the viewer have got to believe my theory. I mean, it's only that. Just a theory, you know. I've heard some freaky stuff. You know, every now and then you keep thinking it's my mind playing tricks on me, but I'm not sure. Something, something could be out there. I don't know. Something trying to, I don't know, make contact, so to speak. Yeah. Anyways, that's what just what I think. In all honesty, just it's. I think a lot. I like to read up on. No experiences because it's sort of you know it's sort of something that you know it it it, it interests me you know and I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that it will interest as well you know it's sort of like some people skeptics on of it all and just think this kid's a loony that's your theory just. Don't go trying to shove it down other people's throats. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there are tons of believers out there. A couple of my friends believe in ghosts. You know, and I'm still trying to... I think I can... I felt something weird, but I'm not sure if that was just my mind wanting me to think it was a ghost. Or if it could have been, I've got no idea, you know. Freaky shit. Real freaky shit.